Bill, tell me what you think about Canada. I love it. I absolutely love it. Beautiful, and the fish are plentiful. Very, very nice. What in a perfect day. Bill Evans and I were close friends in high school. In fact, we did a lot of fishing and hunting together, played football together, basketball, uh, sang in the crescendos. And we reconnected at the 50th uh, high school reunion. And I hadn't really spent any time with Bill for the last 48 years. So I said, why don't you come up to Canada? Yeah, we have Mick Evans up front casting today. And just like yesterday, he takes the lead catching all the fish while his big brother and I just kind of sit there and take them off for him. Wind's coming out of the north today, so we're fishing a little bay that's sheltered from the north side. A little overcast, a little cool, but not bad. And then in the back of the boat, we got uh, the white-haired sage, Bill Evans, having a ball. Legend of Noblesville High School, football, baseball, some basketball. But mostly, the ladies' man. <laughs> the thing about high school friends is you cannot see each other for 48 years, then all of a sudden get together and it's like you are 18 years old again. We had a blast. Everybody's got on a number five MEPS. Bill had been using a tandem spinner, but we were out catching him four or five to one, so he, he finally took our advice and switched. Now he's caught several. They have them surrounded. Might be an eater. Let's do some editing there. Oh! oh. Jesus. What happened, Mick? Easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> okay, we got a double. <laughs> Bill's got one on two. Look at this one, this is pretty big. Oh, this is a nice fish. Nice fish, I think it's a muskie, actually. No, but it's an order. I finally uh, persuaded them to uh, switch over and uh, use my spinning reels. And what they found out is it gave them a lot more control over the fish, a lot better feel for the fish. And I just knew if we caught a really big uh, northern or muskie, they weren't gonna get it in with those uh, closed face reels. It didn't take them long to figure out exactly how to use the equipment. And uh, after that, that's all they wanted to use. The first day, uh, I didn't fish at all in the morning. I just kind of tried to help them, and uh, I used the remote control to move the trolling motor around. We caught uh, 40 northern that first day, and that was the most fish that either one of them had caught in a single day. The second day, which was uh, Wednesday, we caught uh, 46 northern and added six bass. They also caught a 31, and we had caught a 34-inch northern, so it was a great day for all of us that day. Now this is another 30 incher that Mick caught. He just uh, like a 30 inch. Well, this is uh, the northern that Bill caught. He he was afraid <laughs> to hold it. So I'm gonna get a picture holding it here for you. I ain't holding that thing. I'm holding it for you. And I'm taking a video and we'll put it on the YouTube. See there? Look at Bill, there's Bill. <laughs> Thursday was another great day of fishing. We caught 48 northern, added nine bass, and even caught a little musky. All together, uh, Bill and Mick caught five northern 30 inches or greater on Thursday. So it was really a, a fun day uh, to watch them catch fish. But Friday was a complete washout. Uh, I'm surprised this plane was even able to fly if the weather was so bad.
So Saturday we got up and Mick decided he was going to unhook his own northern that day. And so this is the first attempt at landing and unhooking his own pike. Uh, everybody's a little bit leery of the teeth on the northern and they should be. But he did a great job and uh, thought he was going to need the mouth opener, but he didn't. It fell right out. How many is that? Eight? Eight. That was interesting. Glad I got that on film. We didn't catch any really big northern. We caught a lot between 25 and uh, 29 inches, but it was our best day of fishing with 67 northern, two bass, and Bill caught a little musky, his first ever. Overall, it was just really a great trip, being able to reconnect and uh, renew old friendships, talk about the past, and uh, catch up with each other. Overall, they caught 220 fish by far more than they thought they would catch on the trip. When I asked them what their expectation was when they came up, they said, well, we'd like to catch maybe 10 fish a day per person. Well, they far exceeded that amount. We really only had one disagreement the whole trip. We got into discussion one night uh, after a few beers that Bill had had about who understood women better. He thought it was him, but we all know the answer is me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, the only trip you'll regret taking is the one you don't.